open it up for questions for Coach. Coach, one of the big things your players talked about building in the offseason was chemistry from last season. How far do you feel like this team has come in that aspect of improvement? We've come full circle. I mean, it's a group that uh, I'm very proud of by the way that they've responded to the adversity that we hit last year. and and to see the way that our upperclassmen came in this year ready to lead early. Uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready to coach this group and uh, couldn't be happier on where they are right, right now. They're, they're doing a really good job. Other than the chemistry piece, what was something you put emphasis on from last season to kind of improve and get better for this season, have that bounce back here that they mentioned? Yeah, I think routines, getting in a consistent routine. Uh, last year, there was just so many things that, that took us out of routines and things that we were really uh, good at, uh, we had a tough time being consistent with those things. So I think it, as we got back into routines, uh, we've got, we, you know, this group has a, has really good upper class leadership. And then we also have some really young, influential, top prospect type kids on this, this roster. So uh, to see the, see our older guys grab them and, and continue to teach them and mold them uh, has been really good. But you know, I think it's basically just getting back to, to baseball and, and not having to worry about a lot of other things will help this group. For you guys to be as good as you can be offensively, who really has to carry the little year have great seasons? Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty easy. I mean, Luke Mann, Torin Montgomery, and Josh Day, the guys that are returning that started 50-plus games last year and, and have that experience. and and understand the grind of going through SEC pitching every single weekend, that there's going to be some tough at bats and, and there's going to be some up and downs, but, but those guys can really set the tone for the rest of the, of the group. And, you know, a guy like Trey Morris, it just continues to give you professional at bats every time he steps into the box. And I thought he did a great job down the stretch last year, of, of, you know, arguably maybe our toughest out in the lineup. So that, that's really good to see him kind of take that step forward offensively. Yeah, offensively, it's just, you know, it's the Carlos Pena, it's the Justin Colon, it's uh, Hector Manguel, it's uh, Isaiah Frost, it's uh, Juju Stevens, and I hate to, hate to mention names because I probably left somebody out, but they've been really exciting to watch uh, and how they compete, and, and you know, they just came in a step ahead of, of a lot of freshmen. Uh, they, they were ready to go, and they, they're used to competing at a high level in the, in the summers, and uh, they, they've done an outstanding job, and you know, I would say surprises right now. Hector Manguel is really swinging the bat well. Uh, we got to find a position for him uh, right now. He's a, he's our third baseman behind Luke Mann, and and uh, you know the positions that he plays is there's some really good upperclassmen. But you know, I know that he'll come off the bench. He'll be ready to hit in any situation. And then the surprise on the pitching staff is to, a guy like uh, left-hander Tony Newbeck has just uh, come in and. Uh, you know, really wasn't expecting anything out of him. He, he was kind of a mid-80s guy and got him to jump to 92, 93 and just been dominant uh, every time out uh, since late fall till now. So, you know, he looks to, to be the guy that can that can handle uh, some tough innings in the uh, in the bullpen down the stretch. You know, that seventh, eighth, ninth inning, uh, I think he can come in and, and he's just calm enough to, as a freshman to be able to do those sorts of things. Well, it, it'll be getting better every single game out. I mean, we know that uh, the challenges that we have of, of potentially not getting on the field very often, and uh, y you are going to make some mistakes early, and we have to understand that those mistakes are there. I think the uh, you know our schedule is tough enough to really challenge us, but uh, you know a, a benefit of this schedule is as we're not opening up in you know a, a Frisco tournament where there's three other teams that are southern teams that's been outside that are power five schools and have, having to open up with that is is going to be uh good for us being able to focus on one opponent for four straight games to open a season and, and really have a good scouting report and being able to execute the things that we want to execute i think would be very beneficial but uh, we know that the the whole goal is the, to win these games early and, and when gonzaga comes in here who's a really good club uh, we better be ready to play Well, I think every single one of those conference schedules, conference games, we're looking forward to. You know, we we know that uh, we know that we should have played better than we did last year, and we we were a better team than what we showed last year. And 
And I think just kind of getting that, uh, you know, what we had back in 17 through, 17 through 19 uh, of being a little bit more consistent on the field. And, and we want to grow from that. We want to be better than we were in 19. And uh, I think this group is ready to kind of step up and, and do that. And we've got some, you know, we're going into LSU again this year. Uh, we're going to some places that are pretty tough to play. And, and that's arguably that's every place in our league is tough to play. But I think they're excited to uh, uh, not – not just to get into conference games. I do think this game or this uh, group is smart enough and, and realize like how important these early games are, you know, of getting, getting off on the right foot. And, and I don't think anybody's overlooking any opponent on that schedule. It's, you know, it's Nickel State right now. That's the only one, only team that I want us to be concerned about right now and taking it game by game, pitch by pitch. Yeah, I think the first thing that, you know, where, where we put our emphasis early was just the players, making sure the players' mental health, making sure the players are are, are doing all right. Uh, Brian came in and made a, a huge impact early, and I think it was just his uh, his calm demeanor, his laid-back style, and, and really, you know, he, sp he spent a lot of time getting to know each each pitcher individually, and, um, and, and they, you know, they built a good bond. So I think that, that part... Uh, of getting through that, I do believe Austin Chile on our team, you know, his his nephew being on our team is a is a benefit. Um, Austin has been just uh, he's been super on being able to handle, uh, you know, that's a, a young man that's that's so mature that you know he lost his dad when his dad was 46. He lost his uncle at 46, so he's been through a lot, and I think Austin really helps uh, all the other players kind of deal with that. So, uh, but you know, as far as on the field and replacing him. Uh, it couldn't, you know, we couldn't have been more fortunate to be able to uh, get Mitch Plasmeyer in here, who Brian and Mitch have worked together for a long time, and uh, Brian's been Mitch's mentor, so it's not like we're changing anything that we started with in the fall. I mean, we're just we're just carrying that on and making sure that, uh, you know, we're doing the things that we, what we had planned in the fall, and we're going to see those all the way through the season. And, you know, I think you'll you'll see that there, you know, Brian's fingerprints on this pitching staff throughout the entire year. It just won't be well. Now he's gone. Now we're gonna make some changes here. It's, it's uh, it's what we worked on in the fall, and it will continue that through the season. So, uh, and and the, you know, like I said, he built those relationships, and and these pitchers want to carry through. You know, I don't think it'll be from lack of effort if they don't succeed. I I, th I really think that they're they're bought in and really wanting to show, um, you know, how much they've improved over one season. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel really good. I think, uh, you know, strong leadership. Uh, I think there's, a, you know, I don't think. I know there's a plan in place, and, and I think we're all still, like, like the plan is coming, and, and it takes some time to, you know, anytime you go come into a new job, there's a lot of things that you got to deal with, and I think Desiree's done an outstanding job of, of kind of building her team around her. And, uh, you know, the, the, the communication that I've had with Desiree, is she understands it. You know the SEC it, baseball is serious in the SEC, and and, and we all know. I mean, it, we're not hiding anything. We got to step up and we got to start, uh, you know, treating treating it like we got to get some things done here. Uh, I think you know before we open the stadium up this year, I think the appearance will look a lot better when when you walk out there today and you see the appearance. You you kind of see it's run down, and and we haven't done anything in a while. But uh, you know we're going to change all the wall padding. We're going to make some uh, quick improvements that from a, a, a fan standpoint. Uh, before the season starts, it'll look a lot better than it looks today. You know, hopefully in two weeks we'll see that uh, when we, were, you know, the plan is as we return from this trip and uh, things are going to look kind of shiny uh, from from our standpoint anyway. Yeah, I think it goes with the locker room. I, I would say, that, you know, we've showed last year that we could play in spurts and, and we played with the best team in the country pretty well one weekend. But uh, I think those spurts are handled by by what's in that locker room, the players in that locker room and, and the Montgomery's and days and man's and how they handle those ups and downs. And, you know, just, t you know, we talk about it. We've, we've, we've spent a lot of time on culture this year and, and talked about, 
you know, uh, lack of respect in the league and, and those sorts of things. And, and they, they get that part and, and nobody's trying to do more than they're capable of. Uh, we kind of had that mentality of, so what, you know, now what, you know, that, that kind of attitude of, Hey, bad things are going to happen. But, you know, if we let one thing affect us, we're going to, it's going to change into two and three. And, and we're just going to focus on, on the little things that we can each day and, and kind of, you know, go through, go through the ups and downs. Baseball is a game, you know, you're, you're not winning every game in baseball. It doesn't matter if you're the most talented team or, or the least talented team. You, you know, you've got a chance. When, we, when the game starts, every, both teams have a really solid chance there. And we got to make sure that we're playing really sound baseball. Uh, and I think that's where we're at right now. I mean, there's a lot of energy. Uh, there's a lot of uh, guys in here that want to show that, that, that they're better than what we showed last year. And I think we'll continue to see that the guys grow each and every day. We'll see them grow. And the reality is we, we need some success early to kind of, you know, boost that confidence and start trusting everything. So I believe it's here. And I'm, I'm like I said, I, I, I haven't been more excited to work with a group and open up a season uh, in my coaching career than, than with this group because they've, they've done everything right from, you know, out in the community and in the classroom, uh, you know, not the – you know they're on time to everything that they have whether that's a mentor meeting whether that's uh, an academic meeting uh they've done a really good job and, and you can tell that they're hungry so i'm excited to see what they can do anything else all right thanks coach you're welcome